Summer Crescent here in Knoxville. On behalf of the brilliant team at Biggin and Scott Knox, my name is Michael McKenney. It is my absolute pleasure, it is my privilege to be assisting you here today with your obvious real estate endeavours. Now spread throughout the crowd and many of my fellow Biggin and Scott colleagues who are all here on hand, on deck, ready to assist you with any of your buying needs. So throughout today's proceedings, should you require any assistance, please do not hesitate to reach out to them as they'll be more than glad to lend a hand. Now for those of you who are determined to be our new owner, I wish you courage with your endeavours, just be with confidence knowing that I'm simply here to assist you and guide you in achieving those real estate ambitions. And before we commence the bidding, there are a few things I do need to touch on, more namely the terms and conditions with which we sell by and of course the rules. Now the auction will be conducted in accordance with the rules and any additional conditions that were made available for inspection before the start of today's auction. The auction rules prohibit an auctioneer from accepting any bids or offers for a property after it has been knocked down to the successful bidder. The vendors do have a reserve price and as the auctioneer, I'll indicate bidders upon request. The law prohibits false bids, prohibits major disruptions by bidders, prohibits bidders attempting to prevent others from bidding and it does provide fines for such conduct. Now the rules do permit vendor bids. The words I'll use during the auction to indicate I'm making a bid on behalf of the vendor are simply vendor bid and by law only I, as your auctioneer, can make a vendor bid. Now the highest bidder here today will be the successful purchaser subject to our vendor's reserve price. If you are the lucky buyer here today, your obligations will be simply twofold. Number one, you'll be required to autograph the contract of sale, acknowledging the terms, conditions and of course the price of today's auction. Number two, you'll be required to pay a deposit, equivalent to a slender 10% of the final sale value, with the balance due at settlement being a very flexible 60 to 90 days time. Now made available for your perusal, this auction, this auction documentation, which indicates the property we are selling here today is more formally described as Certificate of Title Volume 11403, Folio 358 being lot 1 on plan subdivision 706992T, otherwise known to you and I as 1 at 75 Norma Crescent here in Knoxfield, but known to a very, very select and fortunate few as home. Chattels included in today's sale, all fixed floor coverings, window furnishings and electrical light fittings of a permanent nature as you have inspected them. Now as this documentation has been made readily available, it's, been, it's been made accessible to all interested parties, not only here today but throughout the marketing campaign, I am taking it to be fully read and fully understood. Folks, a property of this calibre and of this magnitude is not something that becomes available very often. Rarely offered are properties in the Knoxfield postcode that boast absolutely everything you desire as a prudent buyer. On offer, we have three spacious bedrooms to ensure all of your protagonists are catered for. We have two bathrooms, including that full ensuite. We have plenty of living space throughout the home. We have an updated kitchen and of course, who can forget that magnificent outdoor entertaining area. Over the decades they have lived here, the owners have treated that garden as their pride and joy and turned it into the picturesque setting that you've all inspected throughout the campaign. It truly is a luxurious family friendly home with a great functional floor plan, great street appeal, ample car accommodation and storage facilities to go along with it. For the buyer here today, you'll be purchasing a property that ticks the absolute holy grail of boxes when it comes to purchasing real estate. It is of course the one that we all know being location, location, location. At your fingertips you have a kaleidoscope of cafes, restaurants and hotspots. We have numerous public transport options if driving is something that you can't do or that you'd rather not do. And of course we have a schooling belt that undoubtedly stacks the deck in your child's favour for their future. A home like this one is truly special and I think it can only be described as a piece of real estate magic. Can I make one suggestion to you? Don't let this one vanish before your eyes. Remember folks, interest rates are at an all time low. I've never ever seen a better time to invest in good quality real estate. Invest in your future. But what better way than here today at one at 75 Norma Crescent in Knoxfield. It is on that note I submit it to you, the exciting part of the auction. I turn it over to you in your hands now, calling for opening bids, opening offers. Where do we see a fair and reasonable start? Quite happy to start at any reasonable figure that you like. Throw a number at me. If I were a gambling man, I'd put money on the fact you haven't all come out here today to stand, stand here and look at me talk. Any figure that you like. I do understand, I certainly appreciate, it can be quite daunting to kick off an auction, but I do promise once you put your hand up, it will become a lot easier from that moment on. Luckily, my next auction is not for a couple of hours, so I can stand here all morning. <laughs> a 
I can kick it off in a vendor bid. I don't usually like to, but I can if no one wants to. But I would much rather get a live bid from someone in the crowd. Any figure that you like. I gather you're all just being reminded of the quiet ambiance at Knoxfield office. <laughs> all right, look, if you guys don't want to, I'll kick it off. A nice, conservative, gentle figure of $550,000. And at that rate, I should, it should be like the MCG right now with the Mexican wave of hand. At $550,000, the call on the rise is, say, 25 from here to call it 575. At $550,000 is your platform to work with now. Calling for 25 on the advance, as I said, should be all reaching for the stars right about now. At $550,000, you have to bid to buy, ladies and gentlemen, at an auction. All you have to do is put your hand up. To get to the reserve that I mentioned about earlier, it does need some spirited bidding from you. At $550,000, going to call it three times if there's no further advance, the property will be passed in. At $550,000, once, twice, third, you're not old enough to buy, unfortunately. <laughs> First call, Second, third, and final call. Folks, as I do understand, it's still early in proceedings. Um, it, as I said, once you make that first bid, I promise you it will be free flowing from there. You will build your confidence and you will purchase a very, very, very gorgeous property here in Knoxville. At $550,000, calling for 25 on the advance, call it 575 anywhere at all. At $550,000, once, twice, third and final call at 550,000. Well folks, just to provide you that better guide on value, I'm gonna put a vendor bid against myself at that level I was calling for, for 575,000. And from here, we'd love to think at next six. As I said, for a property of this caliber, three bedrooms, two bathrooms in Knoxfield, you simply cannot get a property like this one for, those, for that sort of money. That's $575,000 now. Call it 25 on the advance, round me up to 600. I do understand there might be some of you in the crowd that want to negotiate post auction. One thing in Victoria with auctions, if you are the highest bidder and the property is passed in to you, you will have the first and exclusive rights to negotiate with our owners post auction. If the property is passed in on a vendor bid, it is essentially open slather and everyone can put forward their offers. The best position to be in at an auction is the highest bidder at all times. So I definitely urge you, yes, we are not at reserve yet, but I definitely urge you just to get in the game. If the property does get passed into you, you'll have the first rights to treat with our bonus post auction. So we're at $575,000 now, calling for 25 on the advance, round me up to six. Once, at 575,000. Twice now, at 575,000. Third and final call. No one will answer me, but the question I have for you guys is what if we all come out here for today? At 575, gonna call it down three more times and I'm just gonna take some instructions afterwards if no one puts a bid up. At 575,000, first call, second time now for the third and final opportunity at 575. Bear with me folks, gonna take some instructions.
folks, I do appreciate your patience. Uh, our instructions are clear, quite obviously we're not at a level that our owners are happy to depart from their property at. So I'm going to count it down three more times and let it, let it be crystal clear. The property will be passed in if no one puts a bid within the next three calls. So the property's going to get passed in. I'm going to call it down three more times. If you have any interest, this is your time. This is your chance to try and secure a property in this ever so rising market within the city of Knox. Calling it out three times. First call, second, third, and final call. Happy to pass the property in. Well, folks, I do. As I said, the property is going to get passed in now. I thank you for your attendance. I'm sure you will see a sold figure on this line very, very soon. We will now negotiate with any buyer that does have interest in the property post auction. Thank you for attending.